Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about how to extrude text inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, this is going to be true 3D extrusion. We're not going to be duplicating any layers or duplicating any pre-comps. Also, this is a really minimal design. I'm not going to be using any lights. So for you people that are new to the world of 3D inside of Adobe After Effects, this tutorial is going to be very easy to follow. I've been getting a lot of requests to check out my project files, so I made this one available for download. You can get it in the link in the description. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so for the first step, I need to gather together all of my elements. Now this is a really simple project. It's just basically gonna be a camera with some text layers. So first I'll create a new composition, call it extruded, it's 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna set the background color to white, click okay. Now I'm gonna grab my text tool and I'll just type out extrude and I'll set that to 100, um, all caps and then I'm gonna to go to the align panel I'm gonna align that both horizontally and vertically and it's really important that you align that before you turn it into a 3d layer okay now I can go down here and right in my columns here I can click this 3d button and now this is a 3d layer if you can't in fact see this you can right click on your columns and then select columns and then kinda of customize this to see what you want now that that's created I'm gonna go ahead and Create a new camera by going to layer new camera the default settings are just fine and there we go now this is set up and ready to go so if I open up my text here now that I set this to 3d we can see now that it added a few options so if I turn it off and I turn it back on we can see here that we have material options if I open this up this is basically telling us how the light is interacting with our 3D element, so we can make some customization options here, but I don't see any extrusion options. Well, that's because they're up here in the geometry options, but I don't have access to these. I can't see them, and why is that? Well, this has to do with a 3D renderer that we're using. Now, if you look up here in the top right-hand corner of my comp panel, you can see it says Renderer Classic 3D. Now, if I click on that, that's gonna open up our composition setting dialog box and we have a 3D renderer tab. So we have a couple of different options for a renderer here, and essentially when we switch these, it's gonna open up some features and it's also gonna disable some other features. So right now in Classic 3D, that it basically allows us, and it tells us right here, so traditional After Effects renderer, layers can be positioned as planes in 3D space. So they're just planes, we can't do any extrusion. So if we change to Cinema 4D, now we can see Renderer enables extrusion of text and shapes. It is the preferred renderer for extruded 3D work on most computers. And it tells us down here it's enabled all of these features, but it's kind of a double-edged sword because over here we see all the features that are now disabled. And there's some pretty big features like blending modes, track mats, and even down here you see motion blur. So it's important to be aware of what this renderer is doing so you aren't confused and why your motion blur suddenly isn't working. Also, depending on the computer system with which you're working, if you click on the Options button here, you can change the quality so your computer you know, will work a little bit better. Click OK, click OK, and now if we look up here, we can see Render Cinema 4D, and down here we can see the geometry options are now available. I'm going to open these up, and we can see now we can add a bevel and adjust the bevel, but we can also extrude right here. All right, let's take a look at what this does. I'm gonna take this way up high to let's say 500. And now if I zoom in here, we can see it's extruding, but it looks quite horrible. And why is that? Well, to have an even better look, let's fly our camera around to see what's going on. Now I can grab this camera tool here. And if I hold this down, you can see there's a couple of different camera tools. And I can cycle through these using the C shortcut key. So I'm gonna press C here. I'm gonna grab this orbit tool and now as I orbit around, we can see that the text is in fact extruding, but it just looks terrible. So there's a way we can customize this. If I go down here to the text layer, there's an animate button. If I click on this, now we can see we have front controls, bevel, side, and back. So let's say I wanna change the color of the front. Now I can choose RGB and I can go down here and choose the color and let's just set it to white. There we go, and now as I fly this around, we can see now that we're getting something a little more legible now. All right, so this thing's now ready for animation. So first, let's animate this text element. So let's say I want the extrusion depth 
to animate in at one second. So right, right from zero to one second, the extrusion is going to kind of pop in. So I'm going to add a keyframe here. We want it to go all the way to 1000. We want it to be really long extrusion and it's going to come up from nothing, from zero. Okay, so now that extrusion comes on. Now our text kind of disappears when it's at zero. So if you like that look, that's fine. But I'm going to change the color here. So I'm going to go back to our text animator for the front and I'm going to go right about here so that right after it starts to extrude, it turns white and it's going to turn from red. So now we get that cool design there where just here, simple text, and then as it extrudes, it goes from red to white. Very, very cool. Now I can go here in F9 to easy ease this, open up my graph editor, and change the timing here. Okay, now let's go and animate our camera. We want our camera to fly in from the beginning position. So, And this is not our beginning position. So to go there, I'm going to open up the camera. I'm going to reset the transformation properties. So now we have that extrusion here, but that's looking pretty bad. So we want this to animate in at the same time that that extrusion animation is happening. So I'm going to select my text again, press the U key, and I'm going to go to that in keyframe there as a reference. I'm going to go open up the transform options of the camera, and I'm going to add a keyframe for point of interest and position. And th this is actually our start position. So I'm going to grab both of those keyframes, bring them to the beginning, and now I'm going to zoom out here. Now I can grab my camera tool and I can find my end position. So let's go and find where we want our animation to end up. So we want it to look something like that. There we go. We want it to be even closer. Something like that. And once again, the reason I use this simple design, I love the way that the white kind of bleeds over to the background. And it looks almost, ironically, it looks two-dimensional. It's this nice flat look, yet using these 3D elements. So I very, very much like that. All right, now I can go through here and grab these, easy ease. And then do the same thing with our speed graphs here for point of interest and position. And now we should have a nice beginning animation. So let's have a look here. It's looking good, but we want the color to go a little bit later. The color's coming in too, too much. So let's tweak that out. We want it to be red for a little bit, and then right when it kind of kicks off, there we go. So right when that speed, there we go. Okay, that's looking good. Now to have these animate back out, it's as simple as copy, paste, right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. I'm going to zoom out here. Let's grab those and bring them maybe right here. We can do the same thing with our text layer. So I'm going to grab all these keyframes, copy, paste, and time reverse keyframes. And now this should animate back out, but we need to reposition that color. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, since this is going to be kind of looping, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab all of our start keyframes. I'm going to pull them off the beginning. I'm going to push these back. Okay, now let's take a look. Okay, cool. And last thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a skew to my text. I'm going to go to Animate button click skew, maybe skew it out by like 10. And then as you saw in the actual example, it says how to extrude in Adobe After Effects. So all I did for that was I went to the end here and I basically duplicated this, Command D. So now I have this extrude text 2 and this is going to say in Adobe After Effects bring this way down and we don't want it to be um, we don't want it to have any extrusion so I'm going to open this up go to geometry 
and set the extrusion to zero. And now I can grab this and position it. And the cool thing about this is using this white color, whoops, is it's going to pop out when uh, when this extrusion pops out. So the extrusion is going to kind of reveal this. And I'm going to turn the all caps off. There we go. That's fine. And also, so now now you can see when this kind of you know it's still going to be affected by the camera. But actually, I don't want it to be red, so I'm going to take that color, and I'm basically going to get rid of get rid of the color. And it's red, so we need to change it back to white. Okay, so now when this animates on, it's going to reveal that. And for our last text element, I'm going to simply duplicate this, and I'm going to bring this up here and over here. And it's going to say how to, but we need to change the color back. How to. And we'll position that again a little bit more, a little bit further over. Now let's take it to the beginning and see what it looks like. Zoom in. It's actually quite small, 20 pixels. Maybe we could pump that up to 50. No, 25. 25 is looking good. Okay, let's take a look at this animation now. You know what, still might need a little bit of tweaking, but you can see it's cool. It's a fun little design, and we didn't have to spend a lot of time, you know, doing like lighting and texturing. I'll leave that for another tutorial. This is just kind of a very, very minimal way to create some cool, uh, dynamic looking text here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about the design and whether you use extruded text inside of Adobe After Effects. And if you want to share any projects with me, just leave a link in the comment section. I'd love to see what you create. Also, once again, if you want to download the project file, follow the link in the description. All right, I'll see you next time.